Hello everybody, my name is Anatoly and today we're watching South Park Lies Capades. Let's see how this goes. All right, students, let's take our seats. Apparently we have a little problem here at the school which we need to talk about. Ah, yes. You mean the Jew problem. Good, good. I'm glad we're finally going to do something about it. <laughs> no, I mean the problem of head lice. No, no, no. Forget about head lice. Eric, that is not a bug. It's a feature. But you do know by default that it's a good South Park episode when it starts with anti sem There's been a lice breakout at a school in Denver, and we need to make sure nobody spreads Freaking it here. Denver. Somebody might have lice? Ew. So today, you're all going to the gymnasium to have your scalps examined. Wasn't a problem when I was in Moldova. You could have had cow shit smeared all over your face and it was okay. Uh, that is completely unnecessary. Everyone knows that only poor people can get lice. The only person that can spread it here is Kenny. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm He's sure this class is clean, but we're going to be examined so that if anyone has the lice, we can stop it before it spreads. Kaya? Lice can Clyde. Hair. Did they reproduce after his mother died in the toilet? I randomly chose an episode that seems like a logical continuation of uh, Clyde's mother's demise in the toilet. But this is a nice colony. God damn it. More civilized than Russia. Hello, Kelly. How's my baby? You mean me or the little one? <laughs> I mean both. Well, besides a little loneliness waiting for daddy to come home, I guess we're both okay. Okay, when's the massacre starting? You know that is gonna be like 9-11 times 69. How did a louse like me get so lucky to have a louse like you? Luck had nothing to do with it, Travis. Here's Here's the 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 you know who they sound like? They sound like Harrison Eats and his his wife. How was she called? Maggie. Maggie is his wife. You okay? Sometimes. I just worry what kind of world our baby is gonna grow up in. I need to Binary write to and do another sediment analysis. I'm worried we might be overworking the tertiary layer. Oh. Imagine being a uh, geologist in the Lice universe. Of course it still beats being an influencer, but that is not a compliment. That is not an achievement. Students, make sure you're in line according to your grade. When you reach the front of the line, you will go behind the curtain and remove any hats to be checked. The accent does make Boy, sense. Boy, I sure hope they don't find lice in my hair. What do you think happens if you do have it? They drag you out of here, put you in this big containment facility, where they stick a cold metal pipe up your ass with this clear jelly, and then they shock your bars. <laughs> I'm clean. I knew uh, I didn't Cartman, this is not your mother's dungeon. First of all. Second of all, I think he is exclusively talking about his prison experience. That is some federal juvenile whole shit, let's be honest here. I'm Clyde. I wait, I wait a second, look at that. Look at the hair of Clyde. It's I the first time we actually see him and I think the only time. I don't remember this boy being without a hat at all. Of course he has black hair, which means he is inferior, but still. I knew I didn't have any stupid lice. This is ridiculous. All this just so they can send Kenny and his stupid head lice home. <laughs> You know what? It's not gonna be Kenny. It's gonna be Carpenter on alongside the with Clyde. Oh, the earth is not well. What have we done? Is this Blade Runner? <laughs> <laughs> Run, you fool! Uh oh, looks like you got him. What? You have life. Let's see, Clyde Harris, is it? Oh my god. Oh Christ, no! Life is over for Clyde. The insides of his mother got ruptured by a toilet, and now, worse than that, he has lies. Life is over, pal. Just give up. Now, now, it's all right. We're going <laughs> now, to call now. your parents and get you to your doctor. Please, you don't understand. The other kids are gonna make fun of me forever. That's I'm sure protocol. Your friends aren't that cruel. Yes, they are. Mr. President, Mr. President, I believe we have a serious problem. The environment is changing. I believe it is somehow reacting to our presence on it. And what do you base this on? Look, this is the world, right? But now think of the world <laughs> as a living being. <laughs> if it were somehow conscious then it would ultimately become aware of our effect on it. 
<laughs> right, the world is conscious. It makes perfect sense. Hello? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> the human worldists. No, no, no. The human earthers. Imagine what kind of a god Clyde is gonna be when they find out that he is actually their world. Just like Gaia in Greek mythology. Hell yeah. We have made too much of an impact. Then that consciousness would try to snuff us out. I think we're looking at a global catastrophe the likes of which we've never seen. Oh, I like the parallels. I think we need to put all resources now into a full investigation, perhaps even begin a lice-wide evacuation. Evacuation? Tomorrow is the Gutak Festival. Do you know how much money we would lose? Escort Mr. Mayfield out. The money? president can't be bothered any further. Damn you, Vice President Craig! <laughs> you could be killing us all! What kind of currency does uh, Dulais use? I don't know why, but it has to be Russian rubles, right? I don't know how, but it does make sense. You could be killing us all! Oh wait, his mom is still alive in this season, right? Because it's season 11. Heavy is the soul of a human being that does not know her destiny yet. This is so embarrassing. It is. I have an ear infection. What are you seeing the doctor for? I Syphilis. Have, I have AIDS. Clyde <laughs> Harris? Fair enough. Fair enough. Less embarrassing. Yeah, that's a pretty bad lice problem there. Good thing they pulled you out of school. But why me, doctor? Why me? How did I get this? Well, believe it or not, some lice can actually attach themselves to flies and then wait for the fly to land on someone's head where they can reproduce. And then the lice that live in your head now were probably all born there. Sick! This but they're not going to integrate yet because you have to wait for a couple of generations when it comes to... <laughs> okay, let's just continue. Take care of it. Use this in the shower. Your scalp may burn a bit afterwards, but it should kill every last one of them. Thank you, Doctor. Let's exterminate those fuckers. I don't care. Lies are nasty. Travis, everything okay? Kelly, I was just thinking about our baby. I want to name her Hope. Hope? Hope for a chance at tomorrow. No, please, no. No! Don't you hate when parents choose the most bullyable name ever? The cheesiest and the easiest name to pick on. Raining now? The, the death shower, I suppose. I don't want to see Clyde naked. Do you believe me? Woohoo! I love the rain! <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we have to get out of here. It what? sounded exactly like Randy Marsh. Oh my god. You know a catastrophe is about to unfold in South Park when you hear that, oh my god. It's just rain. We have to get out of here now, Kelly! The environment is changing. What is that? Holy shit. Is he using an energy drink or something? That <laughs> That's a weird shampoo color. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> get them, get every single one of them. I don't care, they're lies. Who the, who the hell likes lies, ladies and gentlemen? Now I have the perfect opportunity to just feel good about a Jenna. <laughs> the trees. God damn it, the epicness of this. Let me guess, he's gonna he's gonna lose Kelly. Based on the logic of every single movie that I've seen, he's gonna lose Kelly. He's gonna have to raise his son or his daughter on his own. God damn you global shampooing. <laughs> Don't look, Kenneth. Don't look. What the hell is it? That's uh, okay. We're safe up here. Oh no, the hair dryer. So. <laughs> I don't 
don't use a hair dryer. I always had the feeling that it kind of ruins the natural shape of your hair. For me, it's actually nicer to just let the hair be a bit wilder. <laughs> I cannot take seriously a lies genocide, ladies and gentlemen. It sounds funny, lies genocide. But not as funny as gypsy gen- I can't! Hang on! You have to! For the minute! You can die already, Kelly. Who knows? Yeah! Kelly! <laughs> Kelly! No! Yes! No! Yes! Am I that big of a prick this episode? Am I supposed to have compassion for lies now? Are you serious? You know what I think of lies? Let me show you what I think of lies. This is what I think of lies. Look at this. If I'm willing to enjoy a lies massacre, I'm gonna enjoy a lies massacre. Okay, kids, today we're going to review some Civil War history. Who can tell me what year the war wait, started? Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, so what happened? With what? With the lice exam. Did they find anybody with lice? Yes, some lice was discovered, and the proper action has been taken. Somebody in this class? Uh, yes. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, who... They're gonna eat him alive. If they trolled him for such an insignificant thing as his mother's demise, imagine what they're gonna do for this. Who was it? It was Kenny, right? That doesn't matter. It's over. Doesn't matter? If somebody had parasites in their hair, we need to know who. It was Kenny, wasn't it? I want to know who it was, too. It's being kept confidential. There's Thank a you, policy Garrison. in the schools not to single out a kid who has lice because of the embarrassment it can cause, okay? That is bullcrap! You are denying our <laughs> rights as children to bull totally crap. rip on that kid and make him or her feel like an outcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah! And we have a right to know which Got boy has lice in his hair so we don't ever go out with them. How do we know it was a boy? It could just have easily been one of you stupid girls. Yeah, dumb girls! The case is closed. Thank you, Butters. Whoever had the lice, they're dead now. We're moving on to Civil War history. Ulysses has three. The lies are dead or the person who had lies. You see, the environment is certainly changing, but nothing can be done by the lies to alter this. What's the point that this guy is aware of the ongoing changes if he can do shit? Except maybe have <laughs> sex with his bitch. Hope. Hope you're alive. <sighs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> Help me. Help me. You know what? I'm pretty sure those aren't the insides of a louse. Those aren't that that is not the way it looks like. But you know, for dramatic purposes, you have to add a brain that is half mutilated. It does not work in another way. Over here! Travis, if you hadn't warned us to get up in them trees, we'd all be dead. How many survivors? Just the six of us and the vice president. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> you had a chance to stop this! Unbruised. If you help me if we live through this, I'm gonna see you rot in prison. What do we do now? We aren't out of this yet. Prison. You two look for other survivors. You get whatever food you can and bring it back here. Who put you in charge? God did. When he killed my wife. God did when he killed my wife. Is that a shortcut to actually get in charge? Because if it actually works like that, I'm getting a wife. All right, the person who had head lice needs to speak up right now so that we know to stay away from you. Yeah, come on. We're going to find out sooner or later. Okay, whoever you are, you are now not only a lice head, you're a liar. You're only making this worse on yourself. You know what? I'll bet it was you. Me? This is exactly what you would do if they found lice in your hair. Try to lead the charge against somebody else. I think, yeah, I think it's also Cartman in this case. He's quite vocal whenever there's a problem that he has and he uh, detests. That is a very good mechanism of hiding something. Off of yourself. I don't think so, Kyle. But you know what? This is exactly what you would do if you had had head lice. Try to get everyone to blame me. You guys stop it. This isn't getting us anywhere. That's exactly what you would do if you had had head lice, Dan. <laughs> yeah, try to have everyone make peace so it doesn't seem like a big deal. And this is exactly what Kenny would do. Stand here and say nothing. Hey guys, hmm. well, what would I do? Let's just get a magnifying glass and look at everything. Well, what head. you would do, Butters, you would pee with your pants down and your and your shirt up. It's too late. The treatment would have killed it all. Well, I guess we're never gonna know. There's no way to tell. There's a way. 
There's a way to find out who had sick-ass head cooties, and I'm gonna find it. That doesn't it sound him. promising. It had to have been him. Yeah. Or you. <laughs> now they're just playing Mark, Among Us. Mark, you have to hang on. This isn't now going just to die, stop. Mark. The world is rejecting us. If we're gonna live, we have to get off this planet. Maybe Mark? don't be a Laos and the world is not gonna reject you. How about that? I'm sorry, Lies, but you and flies and fucking mosquitoes, you gotta go. First, we have to get out of the forest, into the Forbidden Zone. It's the only way we might even see another planet. The Forbidden, the forbidden Zone. Forbidden Zone. We'll be exposed. We'll die out there. We'll die here. Look, the world is getting rid of us. Don't you the get pubic, it? Maybe. Getting rid of us. Y you mean like it knows what it's doing? Yes. Because maybe we rolled the dice too many times. Damn. Not leaving my husband. Yeah, I'll take my chances here. You can all stay here. I'm gonna try to save my baby. I'll go with you. There's nothing left for me here. Oh, the new wife. I wanna go too. Not a chance. Look, I know I messed up, all right? But I think you're right. If we can get out of the forest, we might find another place to live. This is a typical scenario. The new wife and the traitor, they just go alongside and the rest is history, right? I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. You might have expected a more compassionate reaction to this, but... Lies find anything we'll try to send help for the rest of you let's go come on i'm just sick in the brain Mr. sorry vice president yeah right behind you <laughs> <laughs> do they have a local laos walmart where they can get this shit my god have the gun regulations been tough in the laos world recently all right lock that door craig what's this about cartman i've come up with a test that can determine if it was any of us who had the headlights we're gonna find out once and for all who had head cooties. Lice huh. feed on a person's blood, and just like mosquitoes, they leave behind small traces of their saliva in the host's bloodstream. That saliva is monochromagnic. So if an infected person's blood is- <laughs> Hartman using the word monochromagnic. Legendary. I actually love this ability of Carbon to just make up words and sound uh, professional and scientific. So if an infected person's blood is touched by this hot metal coil, say... Look at that. Look at that token. Token. It's not Tolkien, ladies and gentlemen. It's token right there. You're not gaslighting me. I'm still fucking traumatized. You know. So if an infected person's blood is touched by this hot metal coil, say... That person's blood will jump 10 meters into the air. <laughs> really? That's retarded. You didn't come up with that experiment, Carmen. You saw that movie, The Thing. This is a scientific test designed to- You saw The Thing and you're wasting everyone's time. I thought you might say that, Kyle. Because you don't want to take the test, do you? Nobody's blood is going to jump up in the air. If it isn't going to work, then what are you afraid of? Oh, the it's only... going to work. Like, all the times Garbin proposes something this um, silly. Never underestimate the scientific capabilities of this rascal. The person who wouldn't want to take the test is somebody who is worried it might work and reveal that they were the ones with lice. Yeah, that's true. I have no problem taking the test. I have nothing to hey. <laughs> yeah, me neither. All right, fine, I'll do the dumb test. Everyone take a petri dish and a syringe. We need at least 30 cc's of blood from each one of you. That's right, a lot of blood. There. We'll start with what I already know. Well, guess that proves Eric wasn't the one with head lice. It doesn't prove anything. Yeah? Oh, it does. Let's see what your blood does, Cal. Huh, I guess you're clean. I thought Kyle's blood is... Okay, for the sole purpose of preserving this channel, I want you to finish the joke. You guys, we better go. Recess is almost over. It's all right, it won't take much longer to- <laughs> ah! 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 What the hell? Uh, was that 10 meters? Teddy! That wasn't no 10 way. meters. You were right all along, Eric. It was Teddy. <laughs> of course I was right. I told you only poor people get less. So now they're using my man Kenny as a scapegoat. Clyde has to come clean on this one because there's going to be jumping blood on his hands after. We've done it. We've reached the Forbidden Zone. I've always heard stories about this place. Never thought it was real. My God. It's real. 
real as my love for my unborn baby. So what exactly is your plan, Travis? Our ancestors came here from another world. Maybe there's still other worlds out there with life forms like us. Maybe there's even a world where they've learned to live with the planet instead of just own it. Travis. Like, in his head, right? Let's be frank, that would feel like an all-inclusive hotel for the, for the lies. Or imagine what a paradise the pubic hair of a hippie would be in this case. Travis, you're so wise. So strong. If we make it out of this, I'd like to be with you. Sorry, babe. But my heart is forever stenciled in permanent ink with the name Kelly. She was a lucky woman to have you. Luck had nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, the vice president done killed me wife and took me bloody son. Fucking diabolical. Once again, no way I'm treating this episode seriously. A louse got shot in the head. Sorry to cut the honeymoon short. Why, you murdering bastard! Your little fantasy of another world ends here. Walk. What the hell do you want, Vice President? Walk! That's the right type of execution. Clyde, dude, get down to the park. We caught Kitty, and we're all gonna let him have it. No. What? What are you gonna do to him? Oh. He lied to us all. He betrayed his kind. We all know what has to happen. Grab a sock and a bar of soap, and meet us at the park. Why? You guys, wait. What, Clad? I... Nothing. All right, see you there. Remember, bar soap and a sock. Kenny's gonna get it. Maybe your mother deserved to die, Clyde. I might not always defend Carmen, but you bet your ass that I'm gonna always defend Kenny. Kenny's gonna get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna f f f fuck him up. Yellow. This is Garrison. One of your students is about to be attacked at the park by all the other students. What? Who's going to get attacked? Who is this? Please just hurry to the park. You have to stop them. That's good. That's far enough. What are you going to do? I'm going to go back to the village. Start to rebuild. Mate with the females. Become president. Don't you get it? The world doesn't want you here. It's not going to stop until you're uh, dead. Uh, how does he become president? Where, where the hell is his president? Didn't he die or something? How does it function in the Laos world? Because you would naturally assume if there's a vice president, then she's going to lose to Donald Trump. It was a disaster. Disasters happen. Go ahead and die there. I'm leaving with my baby. Actually, baby. you're never leaving here either, Travis. Damn you! Why? Because when I'm president, I can't have pests like you constantly trying to preach that the world is alive. You're an idealistic fool. The world is not conscious. We are conscious. If the world was alive, it would feel this. Ow. <laughs> you die it. Now, that's some divine intervention right there. You know, whenever you treat everything with a grain of relativity, we are all fucking gods. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Kenny McCormick, you are charged with bringing head cooties into our school and lying about it to cover your ass. How do you plead? <laughs> Guilty! I thought so! Alright, <laughs> You guys, maybe we should just wait a few more minutes? Alright, Kenny, you know what has to happen. Suck bass! Uh. Everyone wash Kenny with the soap and dry him off with the soap! <laughs> 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 All right, they're just giving him a bath. All right, that that's acceptable. <laughs> they're actually cleaning up the poor kid. This is this is wholesome. Wait, 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 stop, stop it! I can't let Kenny be sock dried. I've learned something today. He had Cody's and he lied about it. Kenny didn't have the headlights. All right, it was me. What? I was the one. I was too afraid no, to everybody, say anything, everybody but I can't had let them. Kenny be sock bait for it. Why are you saying that, Kyle? You can't be the one who had headlights. Because I was. 
You're just trying to make me feel bad because you figured that out, didn't you? Wait, wait a minute, what? Oh, I get it. This is some kind of big trick on me. You've known I was the one with head lice all along, huh? You had okay, so uh, okay. Clyde has been isolated by the by Trey Parker and Matt Stone for the sole purpose of uh, confusing the shit out of us. Imagine what kind of lice movies go on on Cartman's head. Look at that head. That is one of the biggest environments that they could have gotten. You've known I was the one with head lice all along, huh? You had head lice? Of course. Why do you think I went through that elaborate bullcrap experiment to frame Kenny? You all had head lice. The thing. Every single person in the class. The boys and the girls. That's kind of obvious. Lice spreads fast, you dumbasses. I thought I was the only one. Me too. But that means... That means Kenny was lying. Suck bath! Suck yeah! Suck bath! Oh yeah, yeah, now, now it does make sense. Okay, now I'm not gonna defend Kenny. You know what, let them soak bath him to, to death. This is gonna be the most clean death of Kenny. My God, what have we done? Kelly, Kelly, can you hear me? I don't know if you can. But I want you to know I tried. I tried to save our baby. But I let you down, babe. Let you down. <laughs> With wings. Kill it? Ah, he's being transported. The guy is being saved by an emergency fly. Please don't tell me that he's waiting on the balls of Clyde right now, but we all know that he's gonna transition. He's gonna be transported to Cartman. The rescue mission. Wait, it's Kenny, because it's blonde. Or is it me? Whose head is this? You are welcome here. It's gotta be Kenny. You're safe now. We've lived here for generation after generation, never being disturbed. <laughs> we made it, Hope. We made it, Kelly! Ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> Let me guess, then Hope got transported to Brad Pitt's mouth. Miss Angelina Screw yourself, Jolie! Boy. Hello, everyone! <laughs> the lips! Hello! <laughs> okay, I gotta be honest with you, that is quite an accurate depiction of Angelina Jolie. The lips are, of course, too small, but it's still accurate. What a great episode, ladies and gentlemen. I know you might have been waiting for a more compassionate reaction, for a more emotionally charged reaction. But I'm a prick, and you're welcome. When are you ever going to see a guy laugh like this, hysterically laugh like this, when it comes to a lice genocide? You're welcome. We really had everything. We had a detective. We had some sort of a drama. We had Kenny being a scapegoat. We had that thing from the movie The Thing. Moral of the story, you're not the only one with lice, so just rip on everybody. Either way, you're going to be so bad if your name is Kenny. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching this with me. Like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff. Screw you guys. I'm a gay hey.